Hello and welcome to another tutorial video by UnusualTech.com. Today we're going to show you how to use a simple compound light microscope. First thing I want to get out of the way is how to handle it, how to uh, move it, put it away. Basically you want to hold it by like, the neck don't hold it or handle it by any other part because that's not going to do well and you're going to break something that's going to cost you a lot of money. Not a good idea. So hold it by this and this only. Alright, now that's out of the way. Let's start off by going from the top down. The top is your ocu ocular and that has a certain magnification which in this case is 10 times. And you have to get total power of your microscope, total magnification I should say, you would multiply your ocular by your objectives. Now these objectives come in, so you have four times here, so four times ten is forty, and then you go up ten times ten is a hundred, so on and so forth that'll be your total magnification of what you are actually seeing. The next thing we're going to look at is your course adjustment here. Course adjustment is basically when you first put that that slide on. So you're going to set this up here. You want to open your And put that glass in, and you're going to use your course adjustment to basically get a rough idea of where you want to be. As you can see, it's moving quite nicely. Now, let's just say you, we have it in around here, and it's obviously you can kind of see an outline of what you want, but you don't know exactly what it is. Then, and then you use the fine adjustment, which is right here. Obviously, you, you don't see the gross uh, movement as you did before. Now sometimes on other microscopes that the fine adjustment knob is actually on the inner of the coarse adjustment knob. So just remember that. Okay. Next, back to the objectives here. Um, very simple. You should always try to start off when you put your specimen on uh, at the lowest possible. So this in this case would be uh, four times. And then once you've fi found out what you want by course adjustment, fine adjustment, then you'd slightly move it to the next highest power. And then go from there. The next thing I want to look at is the actual stage. So this whole thing is basically called the stage. This is where your uh, slide or of the specimen you want to look at is going to go. On the stage you're going to have, I'll show you that. your Y and your X axis here. So you can move it around and see exactly what you want to see and where you want to see it. This here is basically just um, basically part of the mechanical stage. Okay. Um, moving on further is your light source. Down here now some microscopes uh, be plugged in, turned on. Uh, either way you're going to have either a power button to your microscope light here at the front, somewhere at the back. Uh, just carefully look for the light because obviously if you don't have any light you're not going to see your specimen very well or at all. And I think that concludes um, the majority of how to use a compound microscope. But one last thing though. When you are trying to find your specimen you want to go to the highest magnification which is the oil immersion objective. You never want to touch the actual objective 
right to the glass. So what you want to, you're going to use is an immersion oil. So you literally just want to have one drop of immersion oil. Now, your so you would take the immersion oil and you would obviously you'd have a cover stuff on this, but you'd drop the immersion oil on one tiny drop, put it back, and then you would gently lower it down until the immersion the then you would gently lower it down until the actual objective lens comes in contact with the immersion oil. Okay, uh, that's basically how you use a compound light microscope. Thank you for watching.